So this photograph was heavily damaged at the bottom, and this is kind of a, we're going to see how well generative fill does on this photograph. Previously, this would have been very difficult to reproduce. And I have so many negatives that I, I probably wouldn't have bothered with this. And if I did, I probably would have just cropped it. I would have cropped it something like this. Something like that. Okay. So now that generative fill is here, we might be able to make something out of this. So let's see what it does. We'll make a selection, try to maintain as much of the good as possible. Okay, let's move this down. Let's click on generative fill and let's say generate. We're not going to do anything else other than say generate. And it takes a little bit of time. Well, that's not exactly what <laughs> I would want. Let's see what this one looks like. It gives you three options. You know, I'm not digging any of the options. So let's say generate again. Oh, that's not good. Not terrible. That's not good. Of, the th of all the ones we've done so far, I probably would pick this one. And you can see here's the before. Here's the after. Uh, you know, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna delete this and I'm going to make another selection. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to actually put some prompts in here. And I'm going to say a couple things. See if see if it helps at all. Okay, in generative fill, I'm going to say Complete background and make shoes in a 1900s style. Let's see what it does. Oh gosh, it's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. That's not what I want. Definitely not what I want. All right, I'm going to try something else. Before I do this, I'm going to... I'm going to complete this one shoe a little bit more. So that there's more to see. Okay, so let's try this again. And let's just go like this.
Let's hit Jenner to fill. Mm, that's not good. That's not good. And that is definitely not good. Try again. Hmm, that's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. <laughs> actually, that's pretty good. So this is the winner right here, I think. I'm going to continue. I, I'm fairly pleased with this. So I am going to crop this to 8 by 10. And I can't do it right now on this version. So I'll make it so the height is 10 inches. And I'll make this 400 dpi. Okay, so now I will go and say eight inches. So it's going to add area on the side. Okay, so now I'm going to make a stamp visible on this. I'm going to make a new layer with just this. And here I'll go in and I'll say, try both at first, but if it doesn't work, I'll just go one at a time. So I'll say generate and this should add image to both sides to make this an 8 by 10. I always try to size to 8 by 10. That's a common printing size, standard size in the US. I don't know about overseas. That turned out great. So let's just put this in a folder here. That's the before. That's the after. I'm going to do a little more cleanup here on the feet, but not bad. I'm thinking that's not bad. What do you think?